everyone. I thought I'd like to show you my shavings collection. So let's take a look. So I, I, I just was recently working on my meteor collection, or orchestrating and arranging it, and, and came across my my Chelly Binks collection. Figured I'd show it off to you guys. So there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for joining us, and have a great weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna show these, but these are absolutely 100% perfect little peas. Most have uh, orientation and, and rollover, but they're so small. I just wanted to. I just wanted to have them in there as a sampling. Um, there are interesting things about Shelly Banks that makes it a really, really collectible meteorite to me. Um, there's two, as, as you guys, most of us already know that collect, we have like, there's two different types of, of, of Shelly. There's the brecciated ones, there's unbrecciated, there's brecciated, and then there's melts. So what you see here in the top one is uh, impact melt that's brecciated. So it has brecciated pebbles in it, but the bottom one shows a more widespread melt. And then you'll see other ones that are like this, where there's lots of melt, but it's not complete enough to wipe out the controls. So this is, there's varying degrees of melt within a chelly melt. And just for honor of Cal, we're all going to say Chelyabinks today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so those are, oh, this is an end cut. Bingo. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is a nice little end cut here, a uh, 13 gram end cut. Um, these I have listed as, ooh, oriented and rollover. So let's take a look at them. See, this is how I'm used to seeing Chelly, his little specimens. It, yeah. That was really neat to see it cut and polished, Topher. That was really cool. Thank you. Yeah. A lot of them you don't really get to see. No. Scared to cut them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this one is gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we were so lucky that Chelly bits came in at a shallow angle. That one is That's beautiful. multiple flow rollover lips on oh, it. Oh, man, that's oh, cool. That. That's yeah. ridiculous. We're so yeah. lucky it came in at a low angle and disrupted a bunch of times. I think God figured that we didn't have enough oriented small meteorites. <laughs> Rain down. This one is absolutely perfect. Found it. And it's also one of the early picked up ones, too. No, uh, no rust at all in there. I am absolutely What's the weight on that, Topher? 9.66 grams. Oh, geez. Wow, that's a pretty rollover lip on that one, too. Mm -hmm. I just wish I had the rest of it. <laughs> but it's cool because it gives you a look at the inside. It's unbrecciated and unmelted. Yeah. Now I have another one that is uh, oriented and rollover. And this is just it's incomplete but gorgeous. This is uh, twelve point three grams, and I, I just wish it was complete. Wow! Look at how deep the contraction cracks are. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, Even shallow regmaglyphs on the backside too. That's that's very 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 oriented. I uh, I was in love with this the moment I saw it, as I was with this next one, which I really, really super wish this one had flow lines and rollover. It doesn't, but it is beautiful, and I've nicknamed it the spaceship. <laughs> so this is my 44-gram uh, oriented Shelly spaceship. Nice shape. Is it possible to, for a meteorite to look rollover like that without a fusion crust? Oh, yeah. Well, this, the rollover this, lip is in the fusion crust. Mm -hmm. what, what we're basically seeing here, I'll explain it real quick on this one. As this stone is falling this direction, 
towards the ground. Mm -hmm. The heat is hitting it. The, the air is hitting it here and friction is causing the fusion crust to go around and make the tail that you see as a shooting star comes in. So as that liquid rock is rolling and before it flies off, some of it actually gets stuck on the edge. And when you have a very, very rare oriented meteorite that doesn't tumble and flip and roll in the air, it literally stays in this one orientation until it comes down. That's how these, the fusion crust liquefies and then gets frozen in time on the backside of the meteorite. Yeah, so I, I was really hoping that when I got this one, it would have the same kind of qualities on it, but it has that sexy shape, like, and 98% complete. <laughs> this is my last little collection of them. This is 74 grams total. And some of these are absolutely gorgeous as far as, I, I kept them each one for a particular reason. Oh yeah. These are just so nice. And a lot of these I got directly from the finder. I don't want to give away my source, but when I say Ivan from Russia, that doesn't narrow it down. <laughs> now, wasn't that the uh, grandma's house glass guy too? Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is this is my piece of jelly glass. Um, nice. This one here um, is really oriented with red glyphs on the side. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. And nearly complete. Well, it is complete. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I noticed yeah. at Jelly Events, there's a lot of variety in the yeah, crust and the stones themselves. Yeah. The really uh, unusual fall. Yeah, if you look at the interior of these, like, obviously I got these because they're different. So they're differing berries, different, different um, levels of milk. But this one doesn't have any milk. In mm -hmm. All right. Oh. oh, this is a really nice shaped one. Oh, look at the chondral that's melted through mm -hmm. the surface there. Mm -hmm. It's like a chondral cut in half. Yeah. It's really pretty. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. I freaking love Chal Chalyabinks. Sorry. This um, one shows I'm a next. little bit of, um, sorry, a pat secondary crust and yes. possibly some slick insides where I'm not 100% sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to mention the, the secondary uh, crust there, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, then you find ones that are still complete but don't really show signs of orientation. This is one that obviously tumbled on its way down. You don't have mm -hmm. no orientation. Nice Regma gloves, though. Yeah, super sexy. Mm -hmm. uh, Ooh, wow. Look at how glassy uh, the crust is on that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. Now, yeah, there's some slick insides. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. You know what? I did. I lied. I, I said I wasn't going to show anything but my my own stuff. I have some down here. We have some nice. We have some nice stones in our inventory. This is a forty three gram one. Wow. Complete. Oh yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> and chilies of that size are surprisingly scarce. Yeah. <sighs> So that one is 43 grams, I think. Yeah, 43 grams. Um, this one, I don't even know how much it weighs. Wow. 
lot of texture to the crust yeah. on that one. <laughs> Shelly Banks is one of my absolute favorite falls, and it's extremely affordable. They're not finding any more, so if you want it, you better jump on it now. Uh, my wife is calling me, and she takes more precedent than meteorites, so good night, guys.